Okay, so this is part two where my battery died um, regarding Prime PR. Prime PR, the public relations company over there in Gamastan, was giving Social Democrats who center at the ABF who sit and have their educational discussions there, right near the place of Olaf Palm's murder, giving giving them bribes in a scandal that emerged in December, and that is called Primegate. And Prime PR was the PR firm that Anna Arden twittered leaving, which I theorized that that was an attempt to sabotage Karl Rove's machinations in terms of the Assange defamation campaign, which Operation Want allege has its origins in the Wallenberg family, which has their corporate center over at FAM with Lars Bedenborn, who I met two days ago, who lives, who works over there. So, trying to piece this all together, it seems like small town corruption, a very, very small town indeed. We have Prime PR, Prime Gate, Thomas Bodstrom, Rufulemon of detainees to be tortured, Thomas Bodstrom, Exodus of Sweden prior to Cablegate, Thomas Bodstrom blaming Anna Lind. Anna Lind was murdered there. Olaf Palma just a few blocks beyond that. Prime PR handing bribes to the Social Democrats to republicanize, Americanize Karl Rove Bush eyes. Rove is friends with Prime PRs. Media geniuses. Expressen is owned by the Bonnier Group, which is in turn owned by the Wallenberg Group, which is over there. So when Expressen breaks the scandal from PR, it's all working like a very big inside job. And then Prime Minister Reinfeldt is consulted by Karl Rove, and Reinfeldt makes the prejudicial statements regarding Assange's guilt. Claes Borgström, the court-appointed lawyer, or the, uh, the lawyer for the victims, both victims, tainting evidence is on the SBT, which is just that direction. The SBT headquarters manned up this propaganda program two nights ago with the Domscheit Berg interviews heavily featured. Domscheit Berg's book was published by Bonnier, which was owned again by Wallenberg. So, get a very simple sort of geolocated portrait of corruption. The missing details, again, might be Bjorn Hertig's bar problems now that they are attempting to destroy his career as he was court-appointed lawyer for Assange. And so um, when I wrote Lars Wedenholm when it the other day, I was inquiring whether or not he would give any of this publicity some significant attention and given the fact that the assassinations of significant political figures such as Annalyn and Olaf Palm seem to have a straitjacket-like effect on the illusion of free speech, it would be very interesting to see that he might respond, but he is wise not to respond. And th their office is a block from the Freemasons over there. Not that I have any Freemasonry obsession, but it was quite funny to see the stuffy old fellows marching in there. It would be kind of fun to paparazzi that. And I thought it might also be kind of fun to just offer a little bit of old-fashioned Portland, Oregon-style activism with a paper sign saying, protest some sob bombs, protest Ericsson radar, protest Sarah Quill consumer fraud, protest bribes in Iraq, Mexico, protest bribes for doctors, pharmaceutical giant. And the thing about the pharmaceutical companies too is to really understand the heart of the Stockholm cables regarding the World Intellectual Property Organization pressure. And I think the SVT documentary had a very um, clear effect in utilizing Peter Sunday's statements against Assange. As, um, the populist power of the Pirate Bay is a commodifiable 
return for the Wallenberg SVT anti-Assange propaganda interests and ultimately war interests. So the World Intellectual Property Organization, under the coercion of the IMF and the World Bank, under American corporate copyright concern, was very instrumental in pressuring the Swedish government to prosecute the Pirate Bay. But I think when you look at the pharmaceutical interests that stand to gain from that, and then the devastating damage of the cables and the Pirate Bay, it's very clear who was behind the prosecution of the Pirate Bay. And that could go back to Investor AB and similar concerns. But in that their overarching net worth is 14 trillion, what? It would be really interesting to figure what is their I'm going to get some money.